Diabetes and heart disease go hand in hand, which means that 30 million Americans diagnosed with diabetes are at risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. While those numbers that. are scary, uh, what's even scarier is that more than 8 million people have diabetes and don't even know it. Dr. Travis Stork, emergency room and medical physician and author of the book, The Doctor's Diet Cookbook, joins us now with more healthy tips to stay healthy. Nice to have you back. Uh, thanks for having me. Those are huge it. numbers and uh, I think scary when you look at it and the fact that people are undiagnosed. What do you do? Yeah. Well, it's not only that so many people are undiagnosed, but of those almost 30 million who are diagnosed, it's interesting because over half of those folks who have type 2 diabetes, they don't know they're at an increased risk for heart attacks and strokes. In fact, two to four times more likely to have cardiovascular disease, and over half don't know that. Wow. That is, that is wild. Now, yeah. are, 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 when you talk about diabetes, are, are, are diabetes patients getting younger these days, or, or is it kind of, has everything kind of stayed the same? Well, you are seeing younger patients develop type 2 diabetes, and that's why part of the campaign, it's for your sweetheart. Okay. It's all about enlightening not only people with type 2 diabetes, but if you have a loved one who has type 2 diabetes. Uh, I'm a part of this campaign. I, I encourage people to go to foryoursweetheart.com. Mm -hmm. Learn your risk. Learn your loved one's risk, because it does. It can happen younger. It can happen at any age. But what's so important is to be knowledgeable about your risks for heart disease. Talk to your doc about yeah. it. Because if you manage the risks, then mm -hmm. the outcome you're doing all you can do, and, and it's so important to know know your risks. Yeah, and especially as parents too. We have a lot of kids who have type two diabetes, yeah. and it's really important as parents to have the information. Once again, it's uh, it's uh, yoursweetheart.com. Your right, yoursweetheart.com. For your for your sweetheart.com. Right. 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 There it is, right there. All right, for let's get to our com. viewer questions that we have here. First yes. question is from Diane in Queens. Diane says, "I drink a lot of water, which makes her go to the bathroom often. So how can she tell is she pre-diabetic with this water intake? Can she?" Well, it's interesting, diabetes, sometimes people will start urinating more, and I think you just have to pay attention to it. But if you're worried, if you're worried, again, go talk to your Do doctor. A very, yeah. very simple test can be done. If you're even worried about it, when it comes to diabetes, the sooner you know mm -hmm. you're at risk, the better. All right, let's get another one. The second question comes from Alfonso in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. He wants to know if his itchy skin could be a sign of diabetes, yes or no? Well, again, it gets back to if you're even asking the question, yeah. go talk with your doctor. Itchy skin can mean so many different things. And, and so, you know what's interesting as a doctor? Yeah. You end up becoming a detective. And, <laughs> and you know, the one thing that's great about the internet yeah. is you can learn a lot of great information. Totally. I even talked about foyersweetheart.com before. Good information. But there's a lot of scary stuff out there if you just start, oh, itchy skin, what does that mean? Yeah. So I always say with symptoms that, that don't make a lot of sense to you. Yeah. Go talk to a doctor, figure out what it might be, because it could be a lot of different things. Yeah, because your own personal health is your own personal health, and you need to have your own doctor who's your advocate, who knows the ins and out of what your family history and everything like that. Yeah. With that said, we do have one more question. Uh, Amy from Staten Island wants to know if she could actually control her diabetes by what she eats. Now, can you control diabetes and have a healthy outcome and a good life? Well, what you eat is one element of managing the disease, and we know lifestyle plays a role. And there are a lot of different treatments, and you got to figure out what's right for you. But without yeah. a doubt, the one thing that I encourage everyone with type 2 diabetes to learn about is your own risk factors. And if you work with your doctor, yeah. your doc's going to go through a lot of things that you can do yeah. to, to help manage the disease. And certainly eating is a huge part of it. Yeah. Uh, doc, one more question before we go. Nancy from Harlem uh, has this question. She wants to know, are you married? I am not married. See that? Nancy, you're a winner. Nancy, you're a winner. <laughs> Get out the turkey dinner. Dr. Travis is staying here. By the way, he's from L.A. He didn't bring a coat, and it's 35 degrees. <laughs> Nancy can keep you warm. Head on up to Harlem, man. Dr. Get on Travis that train. Stork, thank Head you for coming train. by. Thanks for, for your having sweetheart. me. Dot com. Go find that out. He's raising awareness about diabetes. Remember to check it out, foryoursweetheart.com. Learn more about different ways that you can reduce your risk. Yeah. Doc, thank you thank very you. much. Heart health so in Harlem. You can get it going. <laughs>